At one point in time, when I'd say the words of institution and broke the bread, I would say, this is my body given for you, instead of saying, this is my body broken for you. Admittedly, I remember thinking that broken language was just too harsh. A broken body is such a violent image. And as a white man living in this world, I have that luxury. I can change language that makes me feel uncomfortable. I can look away from brokenness when I want to. A few years ago in seminary, a friend of mine who knows firsthand the experiences of navigating the world in a black body told me, good theology does not hide us from the realities of a broken world. It points us to it. And I knew that a faith and a theology that hid from reality was not good enough. It was hurtful. I had to, and I have to, do better. Not long after that conversation, I read Belva Brown Jordan's reflection on the table where she wrote, the table doesn't lie about the world. It tells the truth about the cruelty visited upon human bodies every day. It is in that truth, in that brokenness, that we might really meet Jesus. And when we meet Jesus here, our eyes are open to the pain of the world. Our souls are nourished for the work necessary to do something about it. Remembering a broken body is uncomfortable and it is risky, yet we know that gathering at Christ's table invites us into risk. It invites us into curiosity, into seeing one another in God's image, into loving more fully, listening more deeply to the stories that are shared. It invites us into undoing our own complacency and dismantling those systems that limit life and set barriers to God's feast. We are changed here. No, yeah, y'all, that is risky. Showing up is risky. And we know that the promise of this table is that communities that are life-affirming, where all God's people can flourish, is not just a possibility, it is an expectation. We know that the promise of Christ's table tells us that what was once broken will indeed be made whole. And all are invited into this promise. And so we remember on that night when Jesus was gathered with his friends and his disciples, he took a loaf of bread. And he blessed it, and he broke it. And he said, this is my body broken for you. Take and eat in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, and he poured it out, and he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. Each time you drink of it, do so in remembrance of me. This is the bread of life and the cup of God's love for you. All are welcome at Christ's table. Let us pray. God of love and of justice, may we come to your table with courage, knowing that in your world there is pain, that in your world there is misunderstanding, and that there are stories. May we be present to your story that took on flesh and dwelled in the broken places. May we find life in this bread, love in this cup, embrace at your table. Move us, shake us, change us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.